Hello everyone, I hope you are well. I am Dr. Elham Del Sande, Senior Lecturer in Digital Built Environment at Birmingham City University. I'm also the course leader of Architectural Technology Program. In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about building information modeling and digital project delivery. Today we are going to learn about an interesting concept within building information modeling called ND modeling. We are all familiar with 2D drawing and 3D modeling. Let's see how BIM has added more dimensions to our projects using its extensive capabilities. The days of building models being mainly associated with 3D modeling are long gone. New dimensions of time, cost, building performance, facilities management and safety have opened new chapters in front of the built environment sector. one dbim refers to strategies, estimation and planning in projects. All the research on existing conditions, regulation and different aspects of site investigation are categorized in one dbim Two dbim incorporates production of 2D drawing 2D views including plans, sections, elevations, and project documentation. Three D Beam is about creation of 3D models of buildings, renderings, and walkthroughs. It also includes the production of 3D models using point cloud data from laser scanners. The coordination of mechanical, electrical and plumbing data with the 3D architectural models is another aspect of 3D Beam. It also enables clash detection and interference studies between different disciplines. <music> 3D modeling using Beam tools bring us new possibilities. It is faster, more accurate and coordinated with other disciplines. When you modify a building element or geometry in a view, such as plan, section or elevation, the BIM tool coordinates the change in all other views at the same time. Using 3D BIM, we can create conceptual models, objects and geometries, work with building elements, and use computational and parametric design. For the BIM enables the manipulation of models through time model federation, virtual construction, construction planning, scheduling and timelining, equipment deliveries and prefabrication are all included in the fourth dimension of a BIM process. Five D incorporates cost data into the BIM process. It includes detailed cost estimation, material takeoff, quantity extraction, fabrication models, as well as cost comparison, logistics, what if scenarios, and building life cycle cost analysis. The sixth dimension of BIM extrapolates energy use and sustainability performance. Using 60, 
we can assess our buildings against various energy rating systems. The seventh dimension of BIM is about facilities management. It focuses on life cycle analysis of the building as well as building maintenance. As the importance of safety in the built environment is more highlighted in recent years, the eighth dimension of BEAM explores safety in buildings. It incorporates building safety, security and emergency plans. So what's next? What other dimensions can be integrated into the BIM process and BIM model to push the existing boundaries in the world of construction? Beyond the 3D, 4D and 5D, the challenge is to push the boundaries to create, link and integrate data to address the whole building life cycle from early feasibility and planning studies, design, construction, operation and maintenance to demolition.